this video, I will present you what is a UI Activity Indicator View. In your application, sometimes processing can take a while, okay? And uh, it's important that the user feels that something is going on. And your solution for such situations is the UI Activity Indicator View, okay? It's nice, it's a specific view dedicated to that purpose. This is this wheel, you know, that uh, turns. Uh, you can start it, you can stop it at will, and usually it disappears automatically when you stop it. Okay, you have various styles. Uh, in fact, uh, they are described in a type called UI Activity Indicator View Style, and you basically have three styles, white, large, white, small, and gray, small too. Okay, but you can cheat a bit if you need some custom size. The principles are simple. You have initialization in it with style. You can stop animation or you can start animation. Okay, basically you really need to have these three methods in mind. You have three interesting attributes that are computed during uh, the life of the view, which is is animating or animating. And you have some attributes to let you customize this view, so the style, this is the name in Objective-C, the color, you can change it, but you do it after initialization, otherwise it will be resetted, and you have this attribute hides when stopped, this is true by default, and when you stop it automatically the view is hidden, but if you set it to false, when you stop it, it's still visible, okay, you may need it in some situations. For the rest, as usual, have a look on the fantastic manual. Let's have a look on how this example works. So I have a very simple application just with the start button. And when I press the start button, then I have these activities wheels that are starting. If I press it again, then it's stopping. That's all. Once again, in my code, I will put everything in the view controller. So please don't blame me. And here I will have three UI activity indicator views, a small one, a large one, and a very large one. Okay. Uh, here this is what I put in the view did load. So basically uh, uh, I uh, set up those three uh, UI activities views. It's important that to see that for the very large one I'm cheating a bit. I'm using an affine transformation, okay? I scale it times three, okay? Uh, and it's a way to have it larger. Uh, I was expecting uh, some uh, thing blurry or uh, fuzzy, but in fact, uh, it appears to be very nice. And for the rest of the code, I don't mention it because uh, everything is quite natural for you at this stage, okay? Association of a method to a button, etc, etc. The second function once again is very classical, okay, just setting up the frames, I don't comment it here. And the last one is sort of a flip flop that either animates these UI activity uh, or stop them just by using the is animating indicator that is a boolean. And finally, I have the view will transition to size. I don't mention it anymore. You know now how it works. So, now you are in a situation where you can let your user still be happy while they are waiting for some calculus. For example, typically when a WK web view is loading, uh, then when loading starts, you start animation. When loading stops, you stop animation. And you already saw that you have delegation methods in the associated protocol that allow you to catch such events. Of course, it's important to have something that can be computed in a reasonable time, otherwise you will end with this sort of users, which are not very interesting from any point of view. Thank you very much for your attention. See you later.